I'm Steve Turner. I have been making drums and traveling around the country sharing the drums that I make for the last 25 years or so in order to sell those drums. I started putting them out so people would play them. If people play them, they fell in love with them, and then I fell in love with the idea of getting people to play them. So now I travel around the country and I get people to make music together as a way of building community and teaching teamwork. This group is Park. I've been drumming with um, some of the members here at Park for 10 plus years. Uh, some of the kids, the younger people here, came from schools that I've been drumming with for even longer. Um, so some of the people here I've been making music with for well over 10 years, particularly Mark. Hey, my man! How are you, sir? I've seen you for a while, man. Ever since when Steve came, that's how I really got into it with him. For he is my mentor. I'm, I'm so thankful for you and, oh, and Joel you, got me I'm into thankful, it. I'm thankful for you too, buddy. Thank you. That's the first time you've ever told me that. I appreciate that. So when they show up, they kind of know what's going to happen. But I think they get caught by surprise every time anyway, because they get super excited. And this group, I get lots of hugs, <laughs> and I get lots of dancers. I mean, we have clients here who don't like to make eye contact with other folks getting up and dancing with each other. And that, to me, I think those are big steps towards, towards having a complete life. We're going to bring the drums back in a second. Ready? Bring the drums back now. Go! Well, the most important thing is when uh, these students experience music, we see more than what we would normally see in an everyday environment. They open up. Without this program, these children would have the ability to express themselves, socialize, be part of the community of the world. And that's most important. With the drum circle, it just brings everyone together. organizations that I think need this the most are the ones that don't have the funding to find it. And we're hoping to find um, different corporations, different groups, individuals even, who see the value in this and will help sponsor us and make donations to help us keep this going. If Steve, as his nonprofit organization, wasn't to come back to Park, I think you'd find about 150 people very disappointed. And Park, at the moment, doesn't have the resources to bring what Steve has brought to Park and so many adults and lives that he's already changed. Obviously, if we can't have the funding, we can't do the program. And I think that would be a shame, only because you would have such a gap, you would have such a missing piece to that puzzle. This brings on so many different things that can bring happiness and joy and expression, and it's needed in your daily life. And if they don't have that, they're isolated from that. If somebody would want to help us out, if we want, want to be a sponsor for this program, they can contact us through the uh, website, send us an email, uh, give us a call and there's always opportunities to, to volunteer and help out. <laughs>